you know, it's going to be a good game. You know, like I told the guys, I said, I don't think I need to hype you up. You know exactly who you're going to play. Uh, it's just about these guys coming out focused and ready to finish. Well, did you announce you're buying them dinner down there? What? Actually, we are. So, uh, <laughs> I, I, actually, we are. Yeah, we got to get them all ready to go. Uh, no, it's just one of those. Uh, Ricky Smith actually talked to the team, and uh, he's a little nervous at first. He didn't want to do it today, but he did an excellent job. He got the guys going. Why, why Ricky why Schmidt? What was his, uh, you know, you've had veterans team to the team. Ricky's a young guy. Why uh, Why him? I think last week Ricky came back and he did a, a solid job of punting. You know, he made it through, uh, you know, some tough times in his punting deals there. And, uh, you know, one of the things is I thought he had great focus all week uh, last week. And I just asked, you know, what were some of the things that you did? You know, he told me and I said, how about this? Share it with the team. So he shared it with the team and it was good. You said that you saw a lot of energy, a lot of enthusiasm out of your team last week leading into the BC game. Did you see that again this week, if not more? Uh, you know what? I thought we had a solid uh, week when it comes to as far as energy. You know, uh, you know, we had to change the first day with the weather. I thought the guys reacted very uh, good to that and making sure they got themselves going a little bit slow there. And then from that point forward, I thought we were steady with the uh, energy and knowing that, you know, we have to come with the right mindset to practice each and every day. Because of the hype around this game, is this one where you should just be able to open the doors to the locker room and let them go? Well, that's the biggest thing. That's what I told the guys. I said, I don't have to build up the hype. You know, I, it's not one where we got to pin up stuff about Calgary, tell who we're playing. We know exactly who Calgary is. They know exactly who we are. And uh, like I said, once we get on that field, it's going to be two teams who want to play some good football. When you played them before, I think it was safe to say their offense maybe revolved around Nick Lewis. Now that you've seen the film, does it revolve around Cornish or does it still revolve around one of their other receivers? Uh, they, you know what, they, you know those guys do a good job. Dave and Huff do a good job of making sure that there's plenty of receivers that get the ball and they do a good job in uh, making sure that Cornish uh, gets the ball also. So like I said, they do a phenomenal job. They're a total offense and uh, that's why they're one of the tops in the league. How much do you enjoy these late season games between the top two teams jockeying for first place? I mean, this is really about as you know good a matchup as you can get in in the in the season. Fans enjoy that. Uh, I'd, I'd rather be so far ahead of everyone <laughs> that you cruise. Uh, but no, as far as from a football standpoint, you know, it, this is a game because th this is, like you said, this is the benchmark. You know, and that's what I told the guys the other day. Uh, it's going to be two top teams. It's going to be two top rushers. It's going to be two top sackers, two top offenses, two top defenses. And that's going to be the benchmark for you to say this is where we are and what we have to do going into the playoffs. What about yourself as a coach? Uh, uh, well, Huff has like 62 years on me. So uh, <laughs> he has a lot of coaching there, you know. So, uh, But it is a benchmark for me to go against uh, John Huffnagel, who right now is one of the, one of the best in this league. And, uh, you know, uh, for me to look at that and see, hey, you know, I, I don't think any way other way than, hey, this is a good opportunity for me, me to see where I am and where I want to go. Corey, with so much being made about Sheets versus Cornish, maybe at the end of the day, is it whatever O-line plays better will win this game? Uh, you know, at the end of the day, I think, like you said, that's one of the things. Uh, I think it's going to be a total team effort. You know, that's one part of it, you know, but the D-line has to step in there. The secondaries, the receivers, uh, the quarterbacks, it's going to be which team comes out of this thing with the right mindset all the way through. How much of a we love you too. <laughs> all right. How much of a benchmark is this for your team since you started here, the only place in the West you haven't won? Is that sort of a hump that you just have to clear? Is it? I didn't know that. Okay, you know, I good. I, uh, I like that. Yeah, that. hey, that's good. You know, so uh, ho now hopefully we'll clear that. You know, and that's going to be a benchmark for me is, is that's going to be a mindset is, is we're going to clear that hurdle. You know, like I said, we've knocked down or we stepped over a lot of hurdles in the two years that I've been here uh, from one year to the next. And I think this is one that we get over and then we'll be able to do some good things. What is the key to getting over that? One. Uh, winning in Calgary. <laughs> that's that's it. Just winning in Calgary. Stopping John Cornish. Making sure Kevin doesn't uh, have a good day going to Maurice Price and all those guys. And us just winning. How much have you taken away from John Huffnagel and put into the systems and the way you do things here? Uh, you know, there, there's some learning processes there. But I say it's a combination of a couple of different people. You know, I've worked for a couple of coaches in this league, and uh, you know, there's some some good things that I've learned while I was at Calgary. But there's some other things that I learned while I was at Hamilton and Winnipeg also.